So I got a really easy one for you guys today. I've been playing around with this new tool called the Graduated Mess in Final Cut Pro 10. If you haven't seen it yet, I was able to create this effect with this one tool in an earlier episode on the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to use this tool to create this easy location change effect. And all this is brought to you today by Squarespace. It's an amazing all-in-one website building platform where you can easily build your website and use it to host your business. More details later in the video. And if you want to see more of these type of tutorials, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so that whenever I post a new video, you will be notified. So in this example, you will need a tripod, your main camera, and a subject to shoot. Shoot this in 4K as well if you have that option, so that you're able to zoom in later in post without losing much quality. But if 1080 is your only option, don't worry about it, it'll still work out. Also look for two different locations to shoot at. Make sure that they don't look the same at all. The bigger the contrast in the scene, the better it'll turn out. I'll get you like right here. Yeah. And what I'll do is, uh, you'll just stand like straight with your arms down. Yeah. And then you're gonna like look into the camera and then just cross your arms. So we're gonna try to copy the, the movement the in another in location as well, yeah. So in the first location, I had my buddy Derek stand in the middle of the frame. He starts off by having his arms down, then slowly pulls it up and then crosses them while looking into the camera. Now it's important to try and replicate the same movement in the second location as well. So I know it'll be tough to get exactly the same, but try to plan out the movement with your subject so that it'll be easier to put together in post. Try to have them centered in the shot as well. Three, two, one. I think we got it. Now load these clips into Final Cut Pro 10 so we can get to the editing portion. Drag the first clip onto the project timeline. Then drag the other clip on top of it. Since the movement is the same, you can switch the order around. Next, you need to line up the timing of your subject's movement. To easily do this, change the opacity of your top clip temporarily to around 50%. Move the top clip around until it is close or dead on with the bottom clip. Once you have that lined up, you'll need to change the scale size of both clips so that the subject is around the same size. Highlight the top clip, then click on transform button. I will rescale this one a bit bigger and do the same with the bottom clip until they are both around the same size. Focus on matching the face size. I feel like when you focus on that, everything else will just kind of fall into place. When that is done, change the opacity of the top clip back to 100%. Change the length of the bottom clip to match the top one. Now look for the graduated mask tool under the effects tab and drag that onto the top clip. Now look for a spot on the clip where you want the transition to start. I will do it right around where he starts to cross his arms. Now with the skimming bar placed at the selected spot and the top clip highlighted, increase the number in the Y axis under the center column until it is slightly out of frame. Then place a keyframe. I did it this way since I want the transition to start from the top. If you want to start from the bottom, then just lower the number in the Y axis instead. Now move about 10 to 15 frames using the right arrow key and then change the number of the Y axis again until it fully reveals the clip behind it. Now it should look something like this. And a special thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this tutorial. If you're unsure what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one solution for anyone looking to create a website for either their business, portfolio, or even personal use. They have a bunch of amazing templates to easily design your website. So you can easily customize each template so that it fits in with your whole branding. And everything is so easy to use that you won't even need to hire an expert to do it for you. Try it out for free at squarespace.com. And whenever your site is ready to go, make sure to use my promo code Brian Francisco to receive 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. It's my time in my prime. This the prime time. Pretty content. Are you content? No nonsense. Just a go-getter on a car quest. Hey.